Raven is a veteran of the Drag Race franchise. Do you have any questions for her? Any tips for life post Drag Race? My number one thing is do not read comments. <laughs> for coming. Thanks for coming. Oh, grrr. Well, good day, good day, good day, and thanks for coming, everybody down under. My name is Seth. What's yours? Hi, Jamal is back. Hi, Stoney's here. Hey, we're all back, back, back again to bring you full coverage of everything that's happened in this latest episode on RuPaul's Drag Race Down Under, the probably the best series to happen in a long time. Um, great judging, <laughs> and we're we're loving it like McDonald's. Oh yeah, like a soggy fucking crispy sandwich, like a fish full a girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's just it's rough, but you know we're here, listeners. We're doing it for you, and we do still enjoy Drag Race. Just some seasons are rougher than others. I'm sure you all understand. Yeah, we did this for you, so I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> I actually have a quick funny story. So you know that Ooh. there's like the spaces things on Twitter now? Oh, yeah, where you can like chat and stuff? Yeah, they're totally like biting off of Clubhouse. I, actually, I don't know who did it first, but it's like Clubhouse. And um, Grinder. I just followed their Twitter account just because. And I noticed that they had spaces active and there's all these queens in the space i had to be nosy right what are these hoes talking about so i popped in (laughs) there's like 75 people and i shit you not the first thing i hear is oh the season's great like the queens are a little mean but this is one of the best seasons ever and i left so i was like y'all are a fucking lie block (laughs) them girl block (laughs) grinder who was saying that (laughs) are we watching the same whoever was moderating this room at grinder if y'all are listening i don't know what drag race down under y'all are watching they must be scarlet (laughs) fans Yeah, they must like the uh, the the queens that do the blackface and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. was, I mean, it is grinder. They're, d- they're definitely uh, grinder. Was like, yeah, we love the season. It's no fats, no fems, <laughs> no Asians, no, no Asians. <laughs> great. That's it. That's what it is. I was so confused. I had to leave immediately. They eliminate all the queens of color first. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I wish yeah. there was a chat box because I would have <laughs> like typed in, "Y'all are bullshitting me," but you have to like request to speak. Oh so yeah, I just left. I'm reporting all of your accounts, by the way. (laughs) (laughs) By the way, listen to our podcast. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. The grinder gays are out of control. (laughs) Loss, loss, honey. Oh, my gosh. Well, uh, how how have you guys been doing otherwise besides your grinder foray? I am not bad, actually. It's getting really hot here in Indiana, but I am not going to complain. I love going on a toasty walk in the morning. (laughs) <laughs> just to get the exercise out of the way but i like wearing my cutoff hoodies so i can sweat a little extra so i've been enjoying some walks and thanks to all of you checking in on my real estate venture i'm brand new so it's going to take a little bit and um working on behind the scenes marketing stuff um some filming plans photo shoots things like that all so i can find some sellers and buyers but slowly but surely we'll get there <laughs> yeah wouldn't you guys all like to move to indiana so that you can live close to jamal and stony Ooh, we can have a pod meetup and i can sell you a house yes. yeah live with us you can come live with us <laughs> yeah well we'll make live space in our basement. for you <laughs> you're gonna come move on to the tfc west compound tfc yeah. east yeah we'll charge you like five hundred dollars and you have to listen to the podcast the whole time you're here <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and you have to set up our recording equipment and you have to edit the podcast <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> It'll be really fun. So if you're looking for that, let Jamal know. <laughs> yes, please. That would be fabulous. Yes. Oh my gosh. What about you, Stoney? Is there anything new going on? Um, not a whole lot. Just uh busy at work right now. June is a busy month for us and yeah, doing that and enjoying the summer weather. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's been um it's been kind of up and down over here in Oregon. Um It's been like, I mean, it's gotten up to like 97 and then it like this last week, it's been down like in the high 60s, low 70s. And now this week it's supposed to be back up to like high 80s. And I'm like, I hate it. (laughs) So up and down. It's just like trying to find itself. (laughs) The Northwest weather. 
yeah <laughs> like it, it, it'll eventually even out and just be hot as fuck the whole summer <laughs> <laughs> but yes. i'm enjoying this little break this is definitely um short shorts and tits out weather for me Oh, definitely. Also, my dad has been in town. So um, if I haven't been on Twitter as much or engaging you all as much, my apologies. I just like haven't seen my dad in a year and a half because of the panini. So <laughs> hi, dad. Hi, dad. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so it's been nice getting to spend time with him and like, um, you know, go see Port- more Portland and that sort of stuff. Um so yeah, it's been a really fun week, and I'm really not looking forward to working Monday through Friday this week. <laughs> Ugh, oh, me either. Jesus. <laughs> We're all just like, fuck. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, gross. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess that is about all of the updates that we have for you today. So let's go ahead and get right on into this recap. Uh, honest team. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to our Honest Tea Spill of the Week, where we are, of course, back back again to bring you full coverage of the semifinal episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Down Under. The semifinals. My wig is snatched. I didn't think it was going to be over this fast. This season has felt like quicksand to me. But also yeah, kind of slow, too. <laughs> yeah, slower quicksand. Yeah, sure. I feel like it's just like, I don't know. It's been a weird season for me. Like... I feel like I have not connected with any of the queens and the ones that I have like have went home immediately. So it's just really weird. Yeah. I think, um, I think, yeah, this season has been kind of weird on RuPaul's favorites race. Um, (laughs) but I don't know. I mean, I guess you just have to have like the queen with the most, uh, Twitter followers win. Right. (laughs) That's the way it seems to go. I mean, yeah, I don't know this. I think partially it's to blame is, or partially, Part of the blame has to be put on the editors, I think, because like I feel like the edit has been so like weird, but I don't know. It's just I can't explain it. <laughs> it's still fun to see all the queens looks and, you know, see them perform. We're always going to love that about the art of drag, of course. But um, yeah, I can't believe the season's almost over and praise. Yeah, I do think it bears repeating that when we say we're not into this season as much as others, that we mean we love all of the queens, but it's more of like what they're presenting to us, like the editing and the storytelling, the producing. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like the that's where our issues lie, not with the queens. So make sure you're not sending hate to the queens. Exactly. Just want to make sure that's clear. <laughs> oh, thanks for saying that. Some people need to hear it more than 10 times. <laughs> yes, girl. Oh, also, I guess I would like to retract my statements about Art Simone taking a really long time to put on her makeup that we said last <laughs> week. Um, because I did see on Twitter, she said that she is legally blind in one eye. So that's why it takes her so long <laughs> to oh. paint her face. Okay, Drag Race Facts. I had no idea. Thanks, Art, for clearing that up. Yeah, so now I feel like kind of a dick. <laughs> Hey, we didn't know. (laughs) Yeah. So I retract my statements. Art, you take your time, baby. All right. So let's go ahead and get to the top of this episode. At the top of the show, Maxi Shield has sashayed away. Bye, Maxi. I was really starting to get into Maxi. So I hope I see more of them on Instagram and Twitter. Just, you know, post Drag Race Down Under. Yeah. She seemed like such an OG queen. And she was definitely had some like really fun moments. So... I don't know. I hope we see more of her. Yes, girl. Gone, but not forgotten. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) I'm going to miss those facial expressions. She had some good facials. Oh, yes, girl. Love good facials. Ooh. (laughs) (laughs) So the next day in the workroom, the top four and Art Simone gather around the table. Kid Amin says that she wrote down who she thought she would that would be there at the end of the race. And everyone she picked is there. And also, it, Electra is there as well. Kitta is... So I figured it out, listeners. I know I have a good friend named Nikita. So uh, she goes by Kita sometimes. Yeah. I always want to say Kita. Kita mean, Kita mean. <laughs> um, Kita mean is some kind of oracle, it seems, huh? Oh, yeah, girl. She's seen the future, and it's looking bright. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been that fabulous hair at the end of the episode. It just There's some magic in that scalp of her. She just yes. knows... Yes, girl. That's her thinking (laughs) cap. (laughs) Uh, So this week we skip right along to the maxi challenge. 
uh, which this week is a talent show, which is the first time that has ever happened on a regular season of Drag Race. We noticed that. I'm always excited for a talent show. Any chance to get to see more of what the queens to do, I am all here for it. Yeah, I didn't know it was going to be like a my main talent show, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, Ru- <laughs> RuPaul's best clown school audition. Do you think it's just their style of comedy or is it like an Australian drag performance thing? I'm asking as an ignorant American, so feel free to drag me, listeners. I don't know. I was kind of hoping that Kidamine would play like that Journey song, like in Arrested Development. It's like, please. <laughs> it kind of reminded me of like, you know, remember when Manila Luzon did her talent show on like All Stars for yes. whatever season she was on? That was amazing. Um, yeah, it reminded me of that because it was just like music and like no words. <laughs> I was like really nervous for um, Electra Shock. So she's like, I'm doing interpretive dancing. And I was like, oh, God, she's doing um, <laughs> uh, what's her face? Coco. Uh, she's doing Coco. Montrese. Coco Montrese's uh, dance routine from All Stars. And it's going to be horrible. Oh, gosh, that number was rough, Coco. Love you, Coco, but damn, girl. Love you, um, girl. <laughs> I was worried, too, because, you know, Electra, what I appreciate about them is that they have this confidence and they know, like, what they're serving. And I can appreciate that. They're like, you know, this is what I do. I'm doing something different. And that's the attitude to have when you're going into something, especially like a talent show. Definitely. And also, like, my other favorite thing was when Scarlett was like, I'm going to do pole dancing. I have not seen any other queens do pole dancing on RuPaul's Drag Race. And I was like, okay, season two challenge. Shea kool did it on All Stars. Like, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so yeah, read, like, read, we honey. see it all the fucking time. Should, should I go <laughs> on? Or, like, what are we doing? <laughs> Ugh. My gosh. You got to love the uh, the white pioneer twinks. <laughs> yeah, do some homework, Queen. <laughs> They're Bryce. truly pioneers of the industry. <laughs> truly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the girls, they start to take time to figure out what their talents are going to be. Um, Art's talent is clearly playing the cymbals in the marching band. Like, she had to make the most noise. Why not do, like, a makeup tutorial or something as, like, your talent? That totally could count, you know? I don't think there's enough time for that. Remember, she's blind in one eye. Oh, shit. Yep. Sorry. Sorry, girl. (laughs) Sorry to keep bringing it up. I don't know. (laughs) I mean, there's ways to present makeup than like doing it live on stage, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, My favorite part was, though, they cut to Electra Shock um, and she's discussing what she's going to do. And you just hear Art in the back, like grunting and like banging (laughs) everything like so loud. (laughs) This moment reminded me of like maybe watching an episode of the Muppet Babies. And it's just like whenever the crashing comes, you know, that animal's not far away. (laughs) Yes, girl. I was was laughing so much. And I was like, this is so ridiculous, but I'm loving it. (laughs) She had to practice. I didn't see any banging of of pots during her performance, girl. (laughs) So because Kidamine won the last challenge, she gets to pick the order of this talent show. Um, So Scarlett asks to go last. And then later in the episode, Electra asks her uh, if she could go last. So, of course, Kida is loyal to her Kiwi sister. Kida lets her go last while Scarlett is placed second to last which scarlet is not very happy about and is being a little bit of a diva these queens get so pressed about the order of the show like i get it i get it the last spot is like one of the coveted spots but like seth has said we've seen the pole dancing before and if it's really that good i mean you shouldn't have anything to worry about right yeah (laughs) i always hate like the drama that surrounds like the order of shit because to me it's just like just do good and you'll be fine. And then it's like, especially this episode, because it was like, they were trying to make it a bigger deal than what it really was Mm -hmm. in my opinion. So it was just like, here's like all of this like fake drama that no one cares about. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea. I was also wondering, did you see if Scarlett got canceled last night because she was being such a diva about what order she was going in? Oh, I haven't been on the Twitter today. Um, I'm sure that the people had choice comments for her. I hope she was canceled. It's only fair. (laughs) (laughs) 
Scarlett <laughs> I don't was being such a bitch about her order. Like, she should be canceled, right? Hey, I mean, that would be the pattern, right? Yeah, that would be the pattern. I mean, they really went in hard for uh, Lawrence. They had Lawrence had to take off the whole entire Twitter. So I just assume mm. that's what we did to all the people that make, um, you know, a fuss <laughs> about the order, not just if they're a white twink that looks cute. Ah! <laughs> tea let me Uh-oh. get a sip it's hot be careful <laughs> i don't know i guess i'll do some research and let you guys know <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to the tfc I mean, I lab think the and problem report. is I, I never see like drag race down under like on my twitter feed like i feel like no one's talking about it. <laughs> no one's talking about it except for us so if you want to listen <laughs> yeah. if you want to know about it let's follow us i guess <laughs> There's um shout out to Spilly and the GNT podcast. I believe they're based in Holland, but um they do a great job covering Espana and Drag Race Down Under. If you want some fresh opinions, I enjoy their opinions and they're a lot of fun too. Yeah, those two are definitely a lot of fun. Um, all right, so I guess moving on, RuPaul comes in the room for table visits and brings in special guest Raven, who I guess we'll say is about uh six or seven today in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you know we were looking. What what do you uh, Joey's think? Six or seven? She I feel like she was at the last shade acceptable before being too dark. Here's what I have to say about Miss Raven. This episode I thought she looked fine. In my opinion, I won't speak for Stony, but in my opinion, she looked a little tan. I don't know what season was there. Like you're allowed to go lay out in the sun. It's different when you're adjusting your makeup shade to match your skin tone. So if you're like tan you might have a slightly darker foundation to compensate for the difference there. But I thought she looked natural. I thought it just looked like she had a natural face on for her, like her skin tone. And thinking back to her old season, she just looked a little tan. Yeah, I think she's taken um, criticism and applied what she's heard, like in RuPaul's Drag Race. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah. Even though she said during the the meet and greet or the table discussion... (laughs) <laughs> don't listen to the comments or don't read the comments. Yeah, that was her number one tip. Don't read the comments. I'm like, sure that is your tip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they get really mad if you do like blackface or whatever. So don't read the comments. Anything on social media, stay away from. It's like empty calories. You know, it really does not serve. What's a calorie? <laughs> Listeners, if you could have seen Stoney on the couch and see said that shit, it was like the funniest thing in the world. Like we both just <laughs> fell out. We might as well have been on the floor. We just both <laughs> fell out. It's like, that's the cold open, bitch. Right. Not her Not her saying, <laughs> don't read the comments. <laughs> good God. But yeah, yeah, she was like appropriately tanned, I think. Mm-hmm. So um, good job, Raven. Points well, for you. Appropriately tan. And I guess that she's not blackfishing, but probably not <laughs> healthy. <laughs> right. But whatever. Yeah, she definitely has skin <laughs> cancer for sure. Maybe she uses those good SPFs. <laughs> Maybe it's spray on. Who knows? It could be. <laughs> it could be. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's not Raven's fault. Maybe they sometimes just uh, spray her too dark. <laughs> I'm sure that's it, right? <laughs> I mean, if Scarlett Adams is doing it, maybe she doesn't know. <laughs> Scarlett like, Adams oh, is like, is... that's what I did, and I got in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotta love double standards on this show. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so uh, in the table visits, Rue is pushing Karen from finance out of her comfort zone into her mind, which is currently... The danger zone. Dun, dun, dun. Don't let that inner saboteur get you. Yeah, I was convinced that Rue was trying to sabotage Karen and that Karen was going to go home this episode. Yeah, which definitely. I, I kind of wanted it to happen that way, that Karen was <laughs> like, oh, I'm going to dress sexy now and then goes home. I was um, hoping so. That's usually <laughs> what happens. <laughs> yeah. But damn, it didn't happen the way I wanted it to. <laughs> no so close. so close yet so far yeah there's usually like always like one queen that rude tries to fuck up so <laughs> <laughs> interesting yeah so as uh as karen spirals out of control the rest of the dolls start to get ready for elimination day uh art talks about receiving death threats for doing drag and being successful um even from his own family members so i guess i was kind of i don't know this, I feel like this story wasn't told very well, but or maybe it wasn't put together well in the editing. But it sounds like to me one of her family members was trans and took their own life because no one was supporting the transition. And so mm. I think they're all mad at Art because she's like 
you know, alive and thriving and, and doing so well and presenting female. <sighs> that was just, it's rough to hear these things. Of course, it's never easy to hear these things happening to your queer family across the world. But um, how scary, like your own family is just one, they're blaming you for something you totally have no control over. And two, being trans and being a drag queen, those aren't the same thing. Just like a world of basic education around these things, especially if you have queer family, would do a world of good. I don't know. Like, I feel like it's just so much like ignorance and it's just like very, it's sad that there's like, they're dealing with like the same issues that America has because I don't know, America is so stupid too. So (laughs) (laughs) yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's sad to hear of the family members passing and it's like, we finally get Mm -hmm. to, we finally get to kind of strip back that layer uh, where art doesn't let people in and stuff like Mm -hmm. that. So um, it was kind of nice to see like art is a human being and stuff like that. And you have to, it's nice to see where that drive comes from too. Like clearly art is successful for a reason and they have this fire that pushes them along. So I love that she ruined Christmas too. Like that's, that's amazing. (laughs) That's the gay agenda for you. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) The gay agenda wins again. Yes, bitch. Red cups for everybody. I hope she like knocked the the star off the top of the Christmas tree. (laughs) Oh my gosh. (laughs) Yeah, that was wild. I don't know. And and also I liked that Art was like offering to talk to any of the queens like if they were ever like in that position where they were considering taking their life, um, that she would be there to talk about it with them. And I thought that was really nice. That's very sisterly. Yeah, I like that too. That's what people should do. <laughs> All right. Um, so I guess moving on, let's talk about the talents or lack thereof. <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> which was your favorite talent show i actually really enjoyed electra's electra and kidda are my favorite queens so far just as far as what i've seen on the runway and what they're bringing to the show i like that mainly electra is pushing themselves showing something that's a little different a little out of the box something that's not necessarily all about the drag you can perform all kinds of art and things and drag so i liked seeing the um what is it, interpretive dance or what is it, contemporary dance? Yeah, I think Michelle called it like modern dance. Modern dance. Well, I like seeing it on the stage. Like if you're on RuPaul's Drag Race for a reason, um, showcase that shit. I was waiting for that big lady to yell at her after her performance and tell her she sucked. <laughs> 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 What's her name? No. I forget. Isn't this Dance Moms? <laughs> <laughs> what isn't she in jail i think she is i don't know <laughs> i was just waiting for her to be like wow you could have done so much better but like good job i guess <laughs> i appreciated the energy um yeah i also really liked electras too i thought it was fun and something that we don't really get to see that often on drag race like it was like real like dancing that if you went to like a dance competition or something that's what you would see mm-hmm. um so i thought that was cool um and then i also really liked kidda because I thought, like, yeah, it did take her a while to get to, like, the point of what she was doing. But I thought once she did, it was really fun. Um, And, like, I thought it had some really good reveals. So, like, props to her on that. And then, I guess, for me, too, I also thought, like, Arts was kind of, like, clever. I mean, it was kind of dumb. But, like... I did not like it. Oh, really? She was playing Chubby Bunny on stage. I did that on high school band tours with Marshmallows. Yeah, like that's something I could do. So I feel like it's not a talent. (laughs) I mean, I just thought it was more like fun. Like, I don't know. I thought it was just like more like cute and fun, I guess. Yeah, it was like fun how she was like so skinny and white. And I don't know. I just feel like (laughs) that made it more funny. Well, I mean, she shoved that whole pie in her mouth. So Yeah, but she spit it right back out. You never saw her swallow that shit. (laughs) Even Michelle said she didn't swallow. Oh. oh, she did. She did say yeah. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So congratulations <laughs> on being able to fit a pie in your mouth, I guess. Side also, note. Can, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, can we also just mention real quick? I forgot to say this, but like Rue and her like fucking thing against magic and how she hates yes. it. Like, oh, I hate magic. Fuck exactly you, Rue. That's like, what I was about to say. <laughs> like, that I is hate so magic. annoying. Yeah. Like, okay. Well, I guess we should hate... all hate magic now yeah it's It's a talent show like are you sending out sheets to these queens that says 
do a talent show number, be prepared for one, but don't do magic. She's just straight up like, I hate magic. Well, maybe you just haven't been to a good magic show. Hell, you're kind of a magician. Yeah, it's like sometimes you're a bitch and sometimes you're not. <laughs> the queen of transformation, right? That's what they call him on Skin Wars because he does drag. So why can't Kitta do her magic? I know. I just feel like I feel like she just had like a bad attitude towards Kitta's performance before it even mm-hmm. happened. Yeah, she came into it wanting to to hate. And also, too, I think that they were a little bit harsh on Electra more than they should have been. Um, I thought that Electra's wig was just fine. I actually thought it was one of her nicer wigs. And mm. so I thought that was really weird that they were being such a hater on her wig. I was like, that actually does not look thirsty. So, I mean, it's not like the fanciest or the biggest wig, but it like right. looks fine. It just goes into the scatterbrained chaos of the judging of what Drag Race has become really since Drag Race Canada. Because... Oh, we're performers, but we still want these hoes to be on the stage doing modern dance and drag size heels. Well, that's the other thing. I was like, how dumb are you, Michelle? Like, she was like, this is an art form. Michelle was so (laughs) dumb. She was like, I wish like you weren't wearing heels. So it took me out of the fantasy. I'm like, do you want this bitch to break her fucking leg on stage? Like, what the hell? She was doing modern dance. Like, what? Don't you understand about that? When have you ever seen a girl wear modern like heels in any kind of dance routine? Thank you. You took the words right out of my mouth. Do you see heels at these kind of dance competitions? Do you see Alyssa Edwards putting these girls in heels to go into those dance comps? And did you see the child dancer and see a chandelier wearing fucking heels doing all those flips and spins? No. Come on, Michelle. Come on, Michelle. (laughs) Get over yourself, lady. (laughs) <laughs> um yeah that was super weird with electra my personal favorite i think was kidamines um i thought that maybe the beginning was a little bit long but also i kind of think that like at the beginning of magic shows it's usually a lot of pomp and circumstance anyways mm-hmm. like that's just kind of what to expect so um I, build up. yeah i mean you're not gonna just be like and like reveal 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 it's like you kind of have to build up the, the act you know So that was another weird criticism as well. I mean, it did take a little bit of time. I think maybe, um, maybe she could have done some like burlesque type teases at the beginning or something to like, you know, you know, get the, build it up and maybe that's a better way to do it. But, Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I didn't think that her outfits were bad or anything like that. Like it's a talent show. Like this isn't like the runway girl. Right. I think that they just had something in their chairs. It wasn't sitting right. I was kind of hoping she would perform like Rain on Me <laughs> with that outfit. Uh, <laughs> no, then the stick really would have went up their asses if everyone's wigs got wet. Yeah, that's true. Do you know? Do you know how shook Drag Volcano is probably right now? Like with with those uh, platforms Kita had on. Oh my gosh! Look, those shoes were giving me everything I needed. Did you see how like much <laughs> taller Kita was than everybody? <laughs> she looked like I a know. fucking tree. <laughs> She was like Jesus Christ ascending to heaven. (laughs) I was like, damn, this bitch is so tall. I thought she was like the shortest one, too. If I saw someone in an outfit like this, shoes, hair and all at like a rave, I would they would immediately become my queen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. (laughs) I guess this is more of her runway look. But um, but yeah. So, um. Yeah, I think I'm trying to think of the other performances. I thought that um, Scarlett's pole dancing was nothing that great. I mean, pole dancing's hard. You know, that shit is, it requires a lot of strength. But in my opinion, it wasn't anything we haven't seen before. I can't air out my pussy on a pole like that. I aspire, but we've seen it before. (laughs) I mean, Look, I thought it was good. It was definitely a top performance, in my opinion. But with that being said, I'm just bored with Scarlet Adams. Like, I think I will be very upset if she wins this season because I just think it's like there's nothing that she has done that has been like totally groundbreaking to me. Like, we're supposed to be doing like America or not America's Australian or New Zealand's next drag superstar. And it's like, okay, that's cool. But we've seen this like multiple times. So Mm -hmm. what is she giving us that's different? Right. Yeah, definitely. It's like, um, it's weird. Like this, just overall the season, like they've let Scarlett win so many challenges that it's been like, not, I mean, some of them she definitely did win, but some of them have been kind of questionable. 
so it's been really weird. So like they they did that, and then now they're like really pushing Karen and um, Art to the finale. Like they just like unexplainably brought Art back. Like right. yeah, yeah, that part, <clears throat> and just the whole vetting process of these queens just really bothers me. That we can get contestants on a show, and then you realize like oh, um, we had Sherry Pie, and now we've got two queens that do some problematic shit. But I'm only going to call out one of them. And then I'm going to be questionable about their performances, Karen and your balloon tricks or lack thereof, but we're still going to put <laughs> well, them in the finale. That's another thing with Karen. It's like, she definitely deserved to be in the bottom. Like she went out there and did one balloon and then was out. Like, yeah, girl, you did not complete the challenge. Like to me, like the fact that Kiddo was even in the bottom was just ridiculous. It's twisted. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I guess we can talk about it a little bit more later, but, but yeah, I, I totally agree. I mean, uh, Karen's performance was not horrible. It was just really short. Super I mean, short. I do think she was tra- taking the notes and she was trying to be sexy. I get it. Props for that points for that. Um, but I don't think it was like anything. I don't know. I was pretty un- underwhelmed by her. I was pretty underwhelmed by art. Um, I was pretty underwhelmed by um, Scarlet. Uh, Scarlet. Yeah. Like, to me, I mean, I didn't think any of the girls were really, like, any of the performances were like, oh, my God, that's so cool. But to me, my favorite one was definitely Kidamine. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and take a little bit of a break here. Uh, we'll come back and then we'll get into the runway looks. Be right back. Goodbye. <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks for listening to our podcast so far. Thanks for coming. Right now, we're probably refilling our drinks or maybe even gluing down our lashes again. While you wait, here are some things that you should check out. Yeah, remember everyone, you can email us tfcpod at gmail.com and um, tfcpod on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Oh, and one more thing you're not my real dad, and you never will be. Anyways, back to the show. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to our Honest Tea Spill of the Week. We are, of course, back back again, and it's time to get into the runway. Category this week is How's Your Head? Peace. <laughs> Clever category. I do like it. Yeah. Yes, girl. Who do you think had, like, a good look? I was actually, um, I liked the concept of Electra's outfit with the swing being attached. I actually um, loved Kitta's. Like, Kitta was everything. I wasn't expecting that. I'm glad that that look went off without a hitch. Could you imagine if just like part of the hair wasn't lighting up, you know, like Christmas lights, you take them out oh, yeah. around the holidays or anytime, whenever you hang up your twinkly lights that have just been thrown into the basement and half of the shit doesn't light up. I was so happy that she was lighting up the stage and it looks so cool. I really love kiddos that to me, her look this week was probably my favorite look of this whole season. Mm-hmm. Like I just thought it was interesting. It was fun. It was the lights on her hair. Like those shoes, the shoes. It was like the ring on me video with like anime <laughs> mixed yeah. in like the contacts. Yes. I loved all of it. Mm-hmm. So for me, that was my favorite. I also thought, um, Karen from finance, like oh. her whole like headpiece <laughs> thing and how ridiculous it was. Oh, that poodle shit. Yeah. Like I just thought that was really fun. I did like Karen's. I will give her that. That was huge and ridiculous. And we like huge and ridiculous. Yeah. I thought this was also giving us sexy Karen too. So I thought that like she was still kind of following the sexy Karen uh, critiques. And I really appreciated that. Her makeup probably looks the best that it has this whole competition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I do really like her headpiece. And oh, actually her whole outfit. I liked it. It was a cute look. For sure. Definitely. I do have to say that I thought Scarlett Adams looked really nice in her dress. Um, mm-hmm. Just so many feathers. And she sort of looked like uh, Glinda from Wizard <laughs> of Oz or something like that. Yeah, maybe like a little sister. She's on her way to being the Good Witch, but she's still in training. Yes, girl. <laughs> so yeah, Scarlett did not look so bad. Um I think actually art looked really nice too, but also like not the best in my opinion, because like the moss hair thing kind of like didn't have much shape to it. Mm. So I thought that, um, I mean like I liked her look, but I like, it wasn't my favorite, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Did it take you out of the fantasy a little bit. It did. Cause also she didn't paint on eyebrows. So there was that. And, um, 
and like with the hair not having much shape like this is like literally like kind of like the same thing that maxi shield did in in the makeover challenge where she had like that yarn hair <laughs> and then everyone was like we wanted you to wear hair but like of course you know they're not going to give that note to art because she has to be in the finale yeah I won't be too much of a wet blanket. All of the looks were pretty good, but Electra and Kitta were definitely my favorites. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Like, I thought this week all the queens did pretty good on their looks. I, I get what you're oh, yeah. what you're saying about art, but mm-hmm. I did enjoy it, and I feel like she always brings, like, kind of an interesting um, perspective on the runway. Yeah, and one thing that my favorite part about Art's look, though, was um, all the butterflies, because I thought it was really smart to kind of have them on those, like, bouncy wire type things, yeah. so it looks like they're flying. <laughs> that was really cool. Shout out to Asia O'Hara. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you do it, Asia. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, I definitely think my favorite was Kidamine. I mean, I'd rather be dry, but at least I'm alive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah get, serving us full chromatica fantasy um i don't know yeah i just i don't know this is just such a really solid look in my opinion her makeup was and actually kita's makeup was really good this episode as well like hers is um usually pretty good but sometimes a little bit muddy and i think this was very clean and clear mm-hmm. you can see the queens pushing now that they're towards the end for sure most definitely. And, you know, I love a glitter lip and that's usually what Kitta does. So I really <laughs> liked it. <laughs> um, so then Rue asked the girls who they think should go home and why. Um, so, of course, you know, everyone said Electra, <laughs> and Electra used her vendetta for Scarlet. <laughs> yeah, I would have just took the easy route and just and this is all credit to Stony, but I would have just said, like, you know, Art was already here and was eliminated once. So it should be Art. Boom. That's what I was hoping. I mean, to me, like, that was the obvious answer because it's like, Art, you've already been eliminated. Girl, bye. So, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> the explanation didn't make sense to me. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not. And, um, and the other thing that was really, I don't know, it could have been like my computer glitching or something, but it looks like they cut out something from what Ketamine was saying for her reason about why Electra was sent home. Oh, I'll have to go back and see. I didn't catch that. Well, and so I didn't catch that, but did you notice how Scarlet did not have a reasoning? So they cut that out or something. Yeah, they either cut it out or Scarlet was just like, yeah, I mean, everyone else said uh, electric shock. Like, what else yeah. is there? So I don't know. But yeah, just maybe go watch it back. And I think I feel like maybe they cut something out like about um, about Kita saying that Electra like was like her good sister and that she's proud of like how far she's come or something like that because it really seemed like they were trying to build like this whole episode around the Kita and um, Electra shock like lip sync. Mm-hmm. I feel that you could definitely it's like feel they that. wanted it to happen so bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yes. Uh, then in Untucked, the Veronica's come in via iMac desktop from the <laughs> 2010s. Uh, <laughs> via the shittiest iMac desktop they could find. <laughs> and they <laughs> ask the queens who should win. Just They generally stir up trouble. Mm-hmm. We were just like, they're getting the questions back to back today. Like, there's no hiding behind any screens, um, queens. So say what you mean and say it with your whole breastplate. Yes, girl. And it was nice to see the Veronica's on there um, to see some like actual Australians on the show. Yes. Love the Veronica's. I was so excited to see them because I love them. Yes, girl. The Veronica's are super good. Uh, so, yeah. So then after this. Oh, also an untuck. Electra and Kita like kind of make up a little bit because they were saying like who should win. And then uh, Kita's like, well, if they don't want me to win then clearly they're not looking for someone that's very like polished and so i think i think electra should win (laughs) (laughs) and so like you can see like electra say oh thank you and like you know it's nice i don't think i think electra was bummed that everyone said her name um because she's been doubted the whole competition Mm -hmm. but i think that um i don't think that with electra or i don't think with kita electra was not like upset at her yeah, I think I know that um, I don't know, but I feel like Electra understands it's a competition and Electra seems to have a little more emotional intelligence than some of the other girls in there. So I'm not surprised that they were able to bury the hatchet right away and just move forward. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, so then uh, um, we find out that Scarlet won the mini challenge, of course. You know, she wibble wobbled around a pole for two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> 
it should have been a mini challenge. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, she out of what we saw, like I feel like the top two are probably like Scarlet and Ketamine. So I guess it's fine. I was more upset with who was in the bottom two. Mm-hmm. I will co-sign that. Yeah, that was my thing. Really, to me, it's just like Karen probably should have been in the bottom or something, I thought. Right. Yeah. I mean, because they, they really like, I don't know if they said anything positive about Karen's performance other than she was sexy and that she took the direction. So maybe that's why RuPaul let her off this one. But I feel like Karen gets off a lot for the whole competition. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So it was uh, Karen, I think, should have been in the bottom. I think that um, Art could have been in the bottom. I don't know. I don't. I just don't think that Kita deserved to be in the bottom. It was definitely, um, yeah, I, I agree. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, so those two uh, lip sync to a song of the Veronica's. And I think that it was very good. I was really nervous to watch Kidamine because she was in those giant platforms. I was like, <laughs> she's not going to be able to move like she probably wants to because, you know, uh, Electra's a dancer, so you know she's mm-hmm. going to be all over the place. But I don't know. I I did find myself looking at Kidamine a lot more than um than um Electra. Ele- uh, Electra. Yeah, I agree. Um, we know that Electra can dance, and generally with the lip sync, all the girls are going to try to bust out all of the moves and tricks and stunts. But there's so many other ways to perform in general, and when you're in a gown that you can barely move in, there's a way to use your arms and emote on the face. And that's exactly what kind of Kita Kita had to do because those shoes were just, she can't stomp around and flip in those shoes unless she has some strong ass legs she hasn't showcased. But um, she was definitely moving, working the hair, the face and giving us lip sync. Yeah, she was definitely interesting to look at. And, you know, like she said, she had the contacts in that made everything just look blurry. So the fact that she didn't fall off stage is great. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Yeah. right but uh but yeah i thought it was interesting i don't remember if i saw electra doing any like splits or anything like that but i do remember like at the beginning of the episode they were like oh yeah scarlet you did that split so we knew you'd win or something like that <laughs> and then scarlet was like oh well i didn't do 14 or something i think she was trying to take a little dig at electra uh-huh they they love to dig at electra but i mean clearly the producers do too so right yeah I just think that Electra and Scarlet need to fuck and then like just <laughs> let it go. <laughs> that could fix it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that um I think that Electra would probably rather fuck Raven. They were quite <laughs> smitten with each other. Oh, that was fun to watch. Um Electra was totally make putting the moves on Raven. <laughs> yeah. Rue was like, I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so at the end of this episode, uh, Kidamine does stay, thankfully, which means that Electra Shock must sashay away. Uh, I was really hoping that we'd see Electra in the finale, but, you know, I understand what happened. I'll say I understand. I might not agree with it, but I am very happy that Kidda is still here, though. Yeah, I'm happy that kiddo's still here obviously like electra i was a huge fan of hers this season like i felt like she was one of the more interesting queens so i am sad to see her go but i do understand why she left as well yeah like i mean i do agree i think that it would have been great even for the story arc that they're trying to present about her like improving so much over the season Mm -hmm. that it would have been uh more entertaining to see electra in the finale than say karen or art who really haven't had much of a storyline or improvement over the season yeah and i mean we talk about it a lot and we won't keep beating a dead horse but sometimes it just really feels like to win drag race it does come down to who has the best looks and wigs even though they don't want it that to be the official reason but that's the picture that's being painted most definitely so that brings us to another end of the episode uh like we saw in the in the show we'll be at the finale next week and then the week after that is all-star six Woo! i am pumped for all-star six yes i'm getting excited for all-star six i feel like it's gonna be a drama filled season (laughs) and yeah i'm just ready for like to get back to like the u.s like all-stars people (laughs) <laughs> yeah definitely i mean i have i have been enjoying espana as well oh, yeah. i really think that uh drag volcano got robbed last week it was 
made no sense. Spoilers. They were like, <laughs> did you guys not watch it? Well, I had already been oh. spoiled based off what you tweeted about it, but Jamal, I don't think knew. I haven't had time to watch yet, but I plan on it. But we can talk. It's about been it. online for like a week. I know. Like <laughs> I, I'm not even worried about a spoiler because it's the episode's been out for a while. But I, that does make me mad because I love drag, drag. She volcano. was my favorite one. One of my favorites. Yeah. She was so out the it box. Was, like, come on. It made no sense. They were like, we just want to see some like variety. Like maybe you can start wearing a heel instead of just platforms every week. <laughs> and then at then when they eliminated her, they're like, oh, you're a star, baby. Like never step off those platforms. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That sounds like some Drag Race Canada. Like shit. <laughs> like rig- yeah. riggery right there. I'm oh, like, no. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> yeah. I was so annoyed. Like when you watch the episode, you'll get it. I'll text you immediately. <laughs> Please do. Um, but yes, so that brings us to another end. If you liked anything that you heard, feel free to, uh, Venmo or cash app us. We love getting tips. Uh, if you did not like something that you heard, feel free to Venmo us or send us money on cash app. We love getting red. <laughs> yes. Please share your thoughts and feedback at TFC pod on all social media. Please leave a review and five stars. If you cannot help us out with any coins, we appreciate that too. Ye- Yes, girl. All the information is in the description of the podcast. So make sure you take a little look-see-loo there. And uh, yeah, we'll be back next week with the finale. But until then, bye. 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 Crikey, is this season ever going to end? I don't know. Just don't read those comments, girl. Okay, no comments. (laughs) I'm not reading any tweets or comments. Just go ahead and disable. (laughs) Okay, I'll work on that.